So we're here at Ford and Bridge at Fan for Day, the second Fan for Day, and I'm stood next to Jez. Hello, sir. How you doing? Good to see Very you. good, and you? And we're here to talk about your, your third charity run. It will be the third, won't it? Yep, that's and, right. And third successful charity run. The third and final chapter. And uh, it's, this one's a bit special, so talk us through what you're going to do, because it's a bit of a step up from what you've done before. Yeah, um, I didn't realise I was going to do a third year until I saw uh, Children in Need in November. Yeah. And then uh, saw a video on Children in Need, which made me think, I need to run one more time. Uh, let's do 2018, the third and final part of the Running Stormtrooper Project Trilogy, which has now become... Trilogy? Yeah. Well, it's Star Wars, so, isn't it? So it's got to be a trilogy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but the thing is, last year was immense. Yeah. I didn't think I could top it last year. Um, to do the marathon and to get the Guinness World Record was great fun. Yeah. Um, to do the 40th anniversary 40 mile challenge, again, good. So I needed to up the stakes. So um, because it's the 100th anniversary of the Royal Air Force, yeah. and being in the Royal Air Force, I thought, 100, 100. Yeah. Nice round pick 100 miles is possibly a bit yeah, too yeah. much. Yeah. Um, 100 kilometres could also be a bit of a stretch, yeah. but that's what I'm going for. So I'm trying to do 100 miles in one day on May the 17th. Okay. Now, now, are you being clever in that, that May the 17th starts in like Samoa or somewhere and then actually ends in Australia? So you've actually got 48 hours to do it, or, no. or is it literally 24 I, I, I hours? I am not that clever. No, the reason being, uh, so last year's the 40th, uh, 40 miler on May the 4th. Yeah. Um, which was 11 days after the London Marathon. That was just doable. For me, doing the London Marathon again on April the 22nd, yeah. I'm going to need a little bit longer to recover because yeah. it does cut and chafe and hurt I was going to say, last time, was did it did it feel like you took a little bit too much on? I mean, you did it, so obviously it was doable, but, yeah. but is that where you scheduled a little bit more of a... A little bit more time, yeah. 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 And um, and the uh, May the 4th happens to fall on a... a bank holiday weekend as yeah, well yeah. and it's a Friday and I needed Pinewood Studios to, to jump in and get helpful uh, which they've always been yes so I thought no May 17th is a Thursday it's in between bank holiday weekends gives me enough time okay so for people who don't know what you've done before and haven't seen the running sword trooper or anything how did when did this all start and talk us a little bit about what you did on the first run and the second run. yeah okay um, well uh, I did the London Marathon in 2015 as a normal person. Normal person, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, um, and I raised um, uh, about two and a half thousand pounds for Click Sergeant. Yeah. I loved doing it, and it was great. And I, I realised I wanted to do another run, but because I had done it, how can you up the stakes? Each yeah. time you need to up the stakes more. And that's when, being the complete Star Wars nerd I am, I thought, let's run it in a Stormtrooper costume, because that's going to be tricky. Yeah. Um, so then, um, with the UK Garrison uh, helping me out massively, massively indebted to them and you guys for assisting with that relationship yep. um, they got me together so in 2016 I ran the London Marathon and uh, and that was that then everyone <laughs> you make it sound so easy <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was uh, yeah it, it was it was it was good fun yeah. uh, but it was a, it was a challenge but then with there's so many good charities out at the moment you need to you need to have a challenge yeah people you got to stand out yeah yeah you know, there's, you know, we're in times of austerity still, and so to get someone to say, right, that's that's worthy, you know, I, I needed to up the bar. So 2016 was brilliant. 2017 was a case of everyone had been saying to me, you need to get a Guinness record. Why don't you try and get a Guinness record? So, so last year I managed to to achieve the Guinness World Record, uh, which was brilliant, but I also did Star Wars Celebration. Yes. So that was great. That was uh, that was a privilege to be able to do that and have permission from Lucasfilm to be able to do that. And that was on the treadmill you did at the celebration? Yep, so I did um, four back-to-back -back half marathons, one for each day of Star Wars celebration. Yeah. Um, Timings-wise, it wasn't brilliant because that was the week immediately before the London Marathon. Yes. So I arrived at the London Marathon, jet-lagged <laughs> and fatigued and tired. But with a load more generous charity money yeah. in the pot, which is the aim of the game. And that's, that kept you, that gave you the spark and inspiration just to keep climbing through it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so uh, the first year was £5,300, last year was 13300 So, yeah, in total so far, we've array, and when I say we, it's because it is the Star Wars community, sure. everyone's been assisting, and uh, I think we've got just over about £18,600. Wow. And I'm hoping this year to get it to 25000 and I think that would be a lovely, nice number to end. You do realise currently you have enough money to get to Alderaan, so you don't really need to do this third one, do you? I've got, uh, uh, do you know what, I've got so many plans in my head that this is happening, and, and yeah, I'll, 
Oh, it's, it's so exciting. So how's the training been going for this? Because like you say, this is a step up. You've scheduled more time, which is a smart thing to do. Because yep. none of us are getting any younger. Yeah. And, and so, but it's a significantly bigger challenge. So yeah. what's your plan been this time to make it work? Well, um, first of all, I was, I was in a strange situation because as I said, I saw um, Children in Need, yeah. where I saw this new charity called Spread a Smile. And uh, I'm the Make-A-Wish run and Stormtrooper. Yeah. But I saw Spread a Smile and I loved what they did. Uh, Spread a Smile are a relatively new charity who, like Make-A-Wish, deal solely with poorly children, or really poorly children. Yeah. So we spread a smile, go into hospitals with magicians and singers and entertainers, into hospitals where the child is unlikely to be able to leave the hospital, yeah. and, and just makes the procedures which they go through just a little bit more bearable yeah. for not only the child, for, but for the parent. Of course. So I am now running, raising money for both Spread a Smile and Make-A-Wish. Yeah. And I've uh, brought the two charities together. We're all working together. Yeah. So that's been brilliant. Um, this London Marathon, um, I'm going for it again. But you know what? Tell me. I know that whilst I got the London Marathon Guinness record last year, I'm expecting to lose it. Right. Um, but all for a good reason, because um, not only is running Stormtrooper running London Marathon, I've heard Darth Vader is running. Okay. And Luke in X-Wing costume okay. is also running. Okay. And, uh, and good luck to those guys. Sure. Uh, because they're all doing it. You know, most people do it for charity anyway. Yeah. And if that gets them... Uh, the achievement if that gets them getting more charity money then brilliant you know, I, I've had it I've been in the annual that can never be taken from no, you no so that's that can never be taken from you so. but my my focus is on the 100 kilometer run right and uh, so the training's been going alright but it was um, Mark Daniels who contacted me uh, Mark is such an established artist in in general but also in the Star Wars community sure. and sub-level studios um, on Facebook, Sub Level Studios. Yes. Um, he, he's he's really really good, yeah. and he contacted me and said, "Would you like a new logo?" Right. So which he's he's produced this last Stormtrooper run because I am saying to everyone, it is the last Stormtrooper. You've run. got to say it's an archer um, retired. I mean, I mean, once not. It was yes. it was the last Jedi, which made me think last Stormtrooper run, last Jedi. I like right, it. Yeah. So when I put that on my Instagram, Stormtrooper run, um, Instagram, um, everyone was saying he needs to put that logo on a t-shirt yes. or a finishers medal for a virtual run. Fast forward about a month or so and we have now created the virtual run, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> Look at these gorgeous things. So, I mean, the reason I'm so excited about this is because, yes, I, so I enter um, half marathons, marathons and so on and so forth. A virtual run is something which everyone can get involved in. Yes. Now, this is a standard marathon, half marathon finishers medal um, for the Bath half marathon, which is, is, is tiny, yes. you know, it's, it's, but it's okay. You is still that milk chocolate or dark chocolate? chocolate? I don't know. No. It looks almost powerful to me. <laughs> but people pay about £30 to enter these races yeah. and they get a finishers medal like this, now, which is great. But what the virtual run means is, I mean, if you want to just grab one of these, they're um, okay. a virtual run. I mean, this is a far more substantial medal. I'm not say, saying size is everything, but you know, to me, it is quite important. You can kill a Gungan with that. That's that's hefty. It's the detailing is, is fantastic, but also um, the significance of the finishers' ribbons. Yes. Is we have lightsaber colours. Yes. Now a, a virtual medal is something which you can do at any time, any location. You can do on a treadmill. Yeah. Um, if, if you were to, to go to a public race and it's been cancelled due to weather, yeah. that's a shame. You know, snow, Too bad. exactly. Yeah. Whereas this, you could say, oh, the weather's good today, I'll do the run today, yeah. or I'll do it next week, so on and so forth. It's, it's really, really straightforward. Lovely medal, lovely yes, ribbon. Yes. And the plan is, these cost just 14 pounds to do. Wow. So 14 pounds and you will get this finishers medal sent to you. You're right. Posted in the post. But the charity get five pounds. Yes. So it, which is brilliant. Yeah. But if you were to do more than one medal, ten percent discount is applied because the postage costs are less. Yes. So it will cost just just twelve pounds sixty to enter my virtual run. But the charity are delighted about it that they get five pounds. Yes. Now on the back of the medal, you'll see that you're represented. Make a wish and spread a smile. So it's just spreading the word of these great charities as well. Now, you explained earlier that this one, particular one, the five, yeah. is slightly different. Explain why this one's different. Well, because Spread a Smile is such a new charity, you know, they're, and they're actually celebrating their fifth birthday this month. Yeah. 
and they said to me, oh, can we do something special? So because it's their fifth birthday, I've, and a make a wish are entirely content with this as well, just on the inside, it's only spread a smile. So they've got their own sort of yeah. specific, their own bespoke uh, finishers medal. But regardless of which run people participate in, all of the money is equally split between yeah. Make-A-Wish and Spread a Smile. Um, individually, they look brilliant. They As do. a set, they're fantastic. And it's been great to see people already posting on Instagram and Twitter saying, yeah. look, I've got my medal, it's brilliant. I'm already, I've already said I'm, I'm, I'm determined to do it because I can barely walk, let alone run. But I've decided, because my wife's in a wheelchair, so I'm yeah. going to push. I'm going to push and go for the five. Brilliant. Push around the block five times or something. Right. So that's the plan. Yeah. But yeah. It, it's a wonderful endeavour. It's really, really straightforward because you can get um, Map My Run apps or, or various different tracking apps on a mobile yeah, phone yeah. free of charge. Yeah. So once you've applied, um, it my race uh, dot run, and all the information is on stormtrooperrun.com yeah. for those people who just want one location to go to. We'll share that on Fanta. Yeah. Um, once you've applied and paid your fourteen pound or twelve sixty if yeah. you've ordered more than one, yeah. you upload your evidence. Um, within the next day, your medal will be in the post. And what kind of evidence would you need to upload? Um, screenshot, um, a photograph. So if you were to do a public run, yeah. so anyone, for example, who does London Marathon or a half marathon, if they just show their winner's certificate or, sure. or anything like that, that is, that's, that, that's evidence. Yeah. Um, if you were to do it on a treadmill, you could take a photograph of the treadmill screen. Right. Um, but, but anything else, so a Map My Run app on your phone, yeah. screenshot of that, emailed in. Got it. That's how everyone else has been doing it. Now we've uh, been sending these medals to Bangkok, to all over America. It's the, the fact that this is a UK thing doesn't stop people taking advantage. That's a good point because obviously Disney do their run Disney events. Yeah. And I know you mentioned earlier Gus Lopez has taken upon this. Yeah, yeah, Gus is no yeah. no for different marathon. So you've had people taking up this yeah. all over the place. Yeah, there's a slightly there, there is an, an understandable increase in in postage yeah. for international postage. Of um, but everyone is still delighted with the fact that even with the international postage, it's still a fraction of the price of a public race, sure. and you get a medal which really stands out. So what's your ultimate aim for this? What's your final goal? Where do you want to take this ultimately in terms of financial? Yeah, I'd love to be able to say that over the three years, um, the Star Wars uh, Run and Stormtrooper project has raised 25000 I that's, think that's that, where you want to that would be lovely. Um, last year, 13,300 in one year was phenomenal, yeah. but I had the uh, fantastic backing of, uh, of the Americans and all the guests at Star Wars Celebration. True, yeah. I don't have Star Wars Celebration this year, no. um, so already that's about £4,000 less. Yeah. I won't have the Guinness World Record yeah. this year, so already I think that made me get a little bit more money. Okay. Um, but with these medals, if... if, if if 200 people take a medal, yeah. that's another thousand pounds of charity. So if another 400 people, you can just see it. And, and if we can get everyone running yeah. um, and thinking, oh, I want one of those medals. Totally. So um, we're going to put a gallery of this up on Fantatrax because these just look too cool. Well, um, I, I was thinking that you could go to a convention yeah. and people have the lanyards at a convention. Yeah. And in some of these conventions, they've been paying, say, 10, 15 pounds for a special lanyard. Sure. Pay less than that, get an amazing medal, which can act as a lanyard. So, so, you know, um, it would be great to you're get to 25,000. You're not just a running stormtrooper, you're an entrepreneur. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> so, you've said that when this is done, and like I say, you take the armour off for the last time, you have a cup of tea, because yep. you're English, and, and you say, that's it, I'm done. Yeah. You honestly mean you're done. Yeah. You're not coming back as the running Tuscan Raider next year when celebration's on. You're not coming back as, you know, Constable Zuvio there's, there's running backwards. There's two elements to what you just said, because... Um, am I done? This is the last Stormtrooper run. Okay. I have no more plans to run as a Stormtrooper. I think okay. everyone would have seen that, and I don't think I could do more than 100k because I'm still not sure if I've got that in me. Right. You know, so, yes. so the 100k thing, I, I can't take too lightly. Yes. That's a big And you know, always want to up it. Yeah, so, uh, you know, for, to, to run 100 kilometers, I'm going to have to start running at midnight. Right. Um, and it's going to take me about 16, 17 hours. Yeah. And uh, and that's quite physically demanding. Yeah. So so I think it is it an appropriate time for me to say goodbye to the stormtrooper. Got it. I'll always run. Yeah. But I think what I'd like to do is I'm really enjoying doing the whole going to schools yes. and uh, getting kids running and talking to kids about.
Right, thanks ever so much for, for looking at this, the last Stormtrooper virtual run series. I think this is an awesome way for everyone to get involved and to, uh, to have something to celebrate yourself and maybe even do your own charity fundraising for a charity which is close to your heart because you could be rewarded with a fantastic medal. You could, uh, that would donate then into our uh, Star Wars running Stormtrooper fund but you could take it to the next level and raise money for your own charity. But for all of the information on this, please go to stormtrooperrun.com where you'll find links to absolutely everything. Facebook, uh, the, the donation page, but all the blog stuff, everything which has been put together for the Run and Stormtrooper project. But thanks very much for this opportunity to talk about the Run and Stormtrooper.